Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing a kind of different video. It is the full face of makeup using products that I hate or dislike. And I honestly don't like hate any of the, okay that's a lie. Um, I don't really hate most of these products and I'll explain that further on but yeah I like you all know I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos I'm in the middle of packing and I thought I would sit down and film something different so the first thing I'm going to use I'm sorry if you can hear Presley she is like really determined to be in here and like bother me <laughs> I'm gonna use the Becca Evermatte poreless priming perfecter where did that lid go? And sorry if the lighting gets weird. Um, I'm using my vlog camera and the lighting is really all over the place when I film on this camera. So yeah. Okay. So it came out like a little worm. Oh, this is yeah, really thick. Oh, Ooh, and sticky. Oh, great. This foundation that I don't like is about to stay on for the rest of my life. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have this in 102 Shell Beige. The color is half of the problem. I could not find the right shade. And I tried, I think, about four shades of this. Wow, my skin feels like it's getting like really like dry and tight. But I tried about four shades. None of them match. This is so like cool toned but in a very weird way like a peachy way i need to really shake this up but also it gets really patchy throughout the day like especially along my jawline like it is not good it dries like really quickly and just doesn't work so i mean yeah like do you see the color like what is that oh and I'm, I'm going to take my beauty blender. Try to use the best tools. I'll give it one thing. It does last. So if there is a shade that matches you and you can get it to work, then that's great. But do you see how like I'm sure in the camera it doesn't look too far off, but like looking in the mirror, like, oh my gosh, I look orange. Yeah, I think you can tell like my neck looks so white in the camera. So, yeah, it's just not good. And like, this is the second darkest shade. Like, I feel like the lightest one, there was something wrong with it as well, where it was like, the tone is just so off. And I think it oxidizes a little bit on me as well. It is very lightweight though. And it does last, but it's just like, I find it kind of hard to blend and it looks patchy. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a concealer. This is the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain. I am just using this because I wanted to try it. I just got it because I ran out of my concealer. Whoa, that's really light. <laughs> but this isn't something that like I necessarily dislike. I'm just trying it out. Wow, this is really full coverage. Okay, I like this. And keep in mind, this is going to look... Oh, whoops, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> this is going to look lighter because the foundation is so dark. Wow, I really like this. Oh my gosh, and it's like, it feels so lightweight. This is horrendous. Like, there's a patch. I think you can even see it that it's like clung to somehow. I don't know why. Like, that's not like a dry spot, but it's like patchy. Oh, and it's like holding on to the concealer in such a horrible way. Okay, yeah, that foundation is like literally going in the trash. Okay, and to set it, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. It's a fine powder, but it just doesn't work for me. Like, I, it's too dark, and I need something that is, like, really going to 
set and keep me matte, like set my face and keep me matte. For highlight, I'm going to use something that I don't necessarily dislike, but it's just not my favorite. It's the Kevin Aquan, what is this called? Oh. Candlelight powder, illuminating candlelight powder. I don't know, whatever. I'm going to just take that on my brush. It's hard to pick up in this pan and just apply that. It is a very light kind of candlelight highlight. It's actually really pretty, especially in the winter when I get even paler than I am, but it's just not as intense as I want sometimes. So that's why I'm using it now. Next thing, this is where it's gonna get horrifying. The Lorac Unzipped Cheek Palette, Unashamed. You know which one I'm gonna use. <sighs> oh, why, why am I doing this? Why does my face look so disgusting? Okay, I'm gonna tap my brush in there. Oh. This is like really, really bordering clown status. I would not go out of the house like this. The Tarte blush, I believe in Doll Face, which is like a cool tone pink, is very pretty, very natural. Natural. This is scary. And you know what? For a little bit of added scariness, I'm going to use a little bit of Unimaginable, which is like kind of like a blush topper. Hmm. Guys, this is bad. Okay, I changed the exposure so maybe you can see better. This is frightening. Okay, so to start off the eyes, I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I really don't like this. This is just like horrendous. It's so dry and like never works for me. Like it just like skips and is so difficult to work with. Next, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So I'm actually using the Lorac Pro palettes, both of them, but I'm going to be using the shades that I don't like. So formula-wise, these are totally fine. I'm going to first set my eyes. I'm gonna use Buff from the Pro 2 just to like maybe help myself out a little bit. I love these shadows, they're definitely my favorite formulation, but the cool tones in here are just not my favorite, like the classic cool tones. So I'm going to start out with, I'll use a little bit of light brown mixed with buff just to like start out my transition area. Then I'm gonna go in with a more detailed brush and go in with charcoal, which is that matte gray. Do like outer corner and then work that into the crease. Ugh, that outer corner doesn't like accept product. It's so frustrating. Going to take silver all over the lid. I've used this before. It's pretty, but I just don't like silver on my eyes. And it's interesting because a lot of people think that blue and like gray and silvers look really good on blue eyes, but I could not disagree more. I have never thought that they were flattering on me. So I've kind of got that on there and I'm just going to Blend it out. Honestly, this is not looking horrible. <laughs> like, that just goes to show you how good these shadows are. That, like, even though I'm literally just throwing them on, like, I'm not being super precise. I never really am, but that they're still working. Then I'm going to go into the original Pro Palette and take Slate. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is, um... Yeah, this could go really bad. Oh, 
Honestly, I'm actually not that upset with this look. I'm going to take Snow from the Pro 2 and put that in my inner corner. And then we'll be finished. I'm not going to put on mascara just because I'm literally going to go like wipe this right off. Because I can feel like right in here, like I'm starting to get irritation. Like I feel like I can see like hives trying to come through. Which is always a great, you know, great thing. So maybe that paint pot like makes, like I'm allergic to it or something. I don't know. But oh, I look like a clown. I You can definitely see the foundation right now. Like how bad it is. Like what? I'm an orange. But... If you were to just like look at the eyes in person at least it doesn't look horrendous the rest of the face yeah like I'm no no the blush uh uh it's not gonna happen ever again the foundation literally going in the trash the under eye concealer is really brightening with this foundation because I look like an oompa loompa it's way too much but the paint pot horrible I'm throwing that away and the eyeshadows I mean I don't hate the look like I really actually don't I think it's because it's kind of grounded with that brown that I put down as a transition oh my gosh I forgot best part the Lorac highly pigmented lipstick in girl next door mm. my brain was probably like don't do it you know you hate it Ooh, so dry So dry. Sorry if you can hear my cat. And this color is just like, what? Like, oh my gosh. Hey, don't you think I look gorgeous? Yikes. So this is the finished look besides mascara because like I said, this is just whoosh, goodbye. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it to be entertaining in some way or maybe learned some things about some products that you didn't know about or got like a second opinion on some products. Let me know what products just don't work for you and you know you're like uh-uh not putting that on my face ever again type products. So yeah that's about it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.